What started here at Liberty Road and Keck Avenue as a routine traffic stop just after nine last night took a dangerous turn during the booking process back at the Woodlawn Precinct about two hours later. Fentanyl exposure, officials say. First one officer, then another, and then a third started getting sick. Symptoms of a fentanyl exposure initially tend to be um, symptoms of nausea, um, that kind of thing, almost flu-like symptoms. The three officers transported to Sinai for treatment as the Woodlawn Precinct evacuated and county hazmat teams moved in to decontaminate the facility. This case marks the first time any Baltimore County police officer has suffered effects from exposure to fentanyl. It's extremely dangerous. There wasn't even any direct contact with it, and still we had three officers that suffered symptoms of it. Fentanyl-related deaths have skyrocketed in the last few years across the state and Baltimore County, with 187 overdose deaths in the first half of 2017, a 9% increase from the same time period last year. 126 of those deaths fentanyl related. That's a year to year spike of nearly 60%. A deadly toxin that those on the front lines are faced with daily. It's changed the way they operate and that includes the Sinai ER. We have a hazmat room where everything is decontaminated. The staff would wear gloves, gowns, masks, etc. to try to prevent our exposure so that we can continue to do our jobs. And the overdose reversal drug Narcan is key for doctors and this police department, which tells 11 News every officer is trained to use Narcan and carries at least one dose. Canine officers carry two, one for the officer and one for the dog. Reporting live from Woodlawn tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.